Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing our PHP admin panel for blogging website. So guys, now we are going to make the login and register page for our front end setup. So guys, we have completed in previous video about setting the admin panel and now we will create a login page so that user or admin can log into his admin panel as per the roles and permission. So guys, let's get started. So let's move to the front end where we have to create one page let's close all the files first step guys let's create a index.php file where we can test this hello at the front end perfect let's design this page guys let me just close this file okay so create a includes folder includes a simple header.php file footer.php file with one navbar.php yep let's include this file using include function so include function where we are using inside includes folder we have a header.php so same way we are having the footer also footer.php if you have navbar include the navbar guys all set so here you can set up with the bootstrap classes let's first integrate the bootstrap guys first so let me just container row column md12 where inside this h3 tag hello okay refresh let's go to getbootstrap.com so let's move to docs and here is the css and bundle link guys so let me just copy this link and create the file let's paste and here you get all the bootstrap css code so you can this is bootstrap 5 guys which we can see current version bootstrap 5 let's create a folder with the name assets inside this assets create a css folder and one more folder guys that will be a js folder inside the assets let's create one file inside the css bootstrap 5.min.css all set control a and copy and paste guys all set now let's close this and one jquery dot min dot js bootstrap 5 dot min dot js okay not we are going to include bundle okay bundle dot min dot js all set so as first let's go back and type jquery cdn link and move to code jquery dot com just copy any file so this is the link it's not a minified file let copy minified file copy and paste so the current version is 3.6.0 copy and paste so jquery is pasted guys let's close this jquery file now let's copy the bootstrap bundle so here is the bundle current version is 5.1 bootstrap let's paste the cdn link and copy the code and paste done so we have successfully integrated and now let's link these files guys so you need to move to header.php and start with the html 5 where you can use link where we will tell 
assets folder css folder we are going to include bootstrap all set and one more file guys we are going to include one is custom.css if we any customize the file so custom.css close it and now let's control x go to footer and paste that over here let's include the script where src is equal to assets folder js folder where first will be your jquery min.js file copy and paste and then your bootstrap bundle.js file done guys if you want any your custom jquery codes you can include as script dot js okay so let's create that script dot js file and close it done guys let's get back to index page and you can let's close this not required now let's refresh you can see the difference guys now it's in the container for testing purpose let's create one button guys so let me just create one simple button like login and the class name we are going to assign button primary save and check cool so we have integrated the bootstrap successfully now guys let's begin with designing the navbar okay so let's move below this navbar will be fine guys let's copy this and integrate into our navbar.php so just paste that few things all is fine over here let's include one link for the login and register guys so this will be a login register register.php file and this is your login.php file guys let's save and see the output perfect so yep let's keep this in a container so how can you keep that over here you can see a container given bootstrap just remove that fluid and leave it to container perfect i don't want this search bar and just move this navbar to right so you can just check under the ul tag where margin end to start let us give and just remove this form that's it refresh perfect so let's click on login.php cool let's copy and create the login page login.php and one more register.php file all set and now guys let us copy the design let us copy our include files so inside this login we can start with the card as like the card where card body before this we need a card header header where you can mention in h4 tag as login where inside this card body start with your custom design so let's begin with form group margin bottom 3 label don't require for you can tell email id input dot form control placeholder enter email address so just copy this paste this will be a password password enter password and this will be the email guys and a simple button to show the login let's use the button tag 
design a button 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 hyphen primary and this button name will be login now and this will be a type is equal to submit all set let's refresh and see the output cool but it's the form is too long so you can just adjust with the row guys where we can mention in this as column md5 and just justify content in center cool now let's copy this same file and paste in register.php done and just change this to register while registration we need more two fields so you can keep like first name or last name let's keep that first name copy and paste last name this will be the text you can just give first name last name email and password right so let's go to register.php cool so guys we have successfully designed for registration and login now guys let's see next video where we will be continuing to create the code login and registration system for our admin dashboard okay so guys thank you for watching this video let's continue next video please subscribe like and share